You know, I want to ask you, uh, yeah. 41 President H.W. Bush yeah. was uh, so loved by so many people. Do you have a memory of being there with him that you cherish? Is, is, there, is, there, is there something about him that you remember that you just look back on fondly? Yeah. Um, Maybe a, a, a few. Um, when I first started working at the uh, at the White House, um, I was you know very nervous about briefing and that sort of thing. Anyway, the president was walking down for a press conference and um, and asked me a question about a particular issue, and I said, "Oh no, I, I think you know the message points are X," and I'm thinking, "Oh." I told him the right thing. He's got to get up there and say it. <laughs> and sure enough, he, you know, it, it was it was right. So I was <laughs> that that was that was good. Um, I think uh, another moment was um, we had um, just sort of not great news on the election stats. And uh, I remember that I had to walk over to the residence to have a conversation about that. I was trying to avoid it at all costs. Like, sir, yes, no, I can just tell you right on the phone. It's very quick. No, walk on over. Oh my God. Why, why did he want you to walk on over? Why? Just so we could talk in person about it. And, and so for me, I'm trying to give bad numbers over the phone. I'm not trying to have a personal conversation about it. And so I walk over and you know, I think he's, you know, sitting up with, you know, jammies on and, you know, in bed reading. I'm giving him bad numbers and, <laughs> and I'm saying, well, sir, you know, and then he's looking at me saying, oh, don't worry about it. You know, the numbers, it will get better. And I'm like, he's cheering me up. <laughs> he's cheering me up. I'm the depressed one. I'm supposed to be going the other way around. And um, just, um, you know, just amazing. Was he like that, though, and, and just incredibly even-keeled? Yes, yes. I mean, absolutely, absolutely. The thing um, that I think I admire most is um, the level of um, values and uh, ethics and uh, loyalty. You know, so those basic... Mm -hmm principles um, that sometimes get lost. I um, remember that she, we were talking about, she said, well, I'm sort of thinking of a, you know, a storyline, you know, with the president and, you know, relationships. I'm like, well, what, what does that mean, really? She said, <laughs> you know, relationships. I said, well, yeah, no, I mean, I have a relationship with the president, you know, I talk to him, I mean, you know, we, we, we chat. She said, no, I'm thinking relationship, relationship. <laughs> I said, what does relationship, relationship mean? She said, well, I'm thinking of a storyline, you know, with sex with the president. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and so like any good communicator would, you want to immediately control the narrative. <laughs> so I immediately picked up the phone to call the president's chief of staff and said, can you have him call me? I said, I need to talk to him about the show. He said, oh, you mean scandal? He knows all about it. <laughs> He's so excited to see it. Oh! He's so proud of you. I'm thinking, oh, no, no. And I said, well, tell him to call me just so that I have that one on one, you know, <laughs> convey the message. Relationship. Yes, right. <clears throat> So I saw that he called, and I couldn't, you know, jump off the phone soon enough. And so I said, oh, text his number. All right, let me pick up. And so I'm thinking, okay, he probably left the message. I mean, he's a busy man, you know, when he's going to call, call back Judy. And so I, I checked the message, and, you know, it said something like, um, love you, want you, you <laughs> left me. <laughs> and by the way, this is the former leader of the free world. Call me. <laughs> You know, any of you know the dad. I said, Nissi, and when I called him up, I said, this is why I'm calling you now. <laughs> I said, you need talking points. <laughs> I said, I called you to get the message straight. You need some talking points. So he proceeded to say, look, he said, you know, I'm going to confirm the affair. I'm like, there was no affair. 
you were talking about the fast moving pace of the news cycle, which has got nothing but faster. Oh, it's crazy, right? It, it, it really yes. is. So uh, for folks who may be interested in this, how do you manage a client's message in that kind of a fast paced environment? Mm -hmm. I mean, how on earth do you do it? Yeah, look, I mean, people used to say a, a while back that, you know, you have to get in front of it. It's very hard to get in front of something when you just happen to somebody text you and say, oh, hey, did you see this online? You know, you, you, they, they're saying you stole $30,000 from your company's fund or something, right? I mean, how do you get in front of that? So I think the, the trick is that you want to make sure that I think, A, you respond quickly, but you want to respond with the facts. I think a lot of times people get out there and say a response and it turns out to be factually incorrect um, because they're moving so quickly and then you have to sort of retread that, which is never a good thing. But no, I mean, I think social media has certainly made um, what we do uh, much more challenging. Not uh, unbeatable, but much more challenging, I think, yeah.